Tell me if this is a repeated story at your house, living close to salt water, whether it's around Puget Sound, Straits of Juan de Fuca, coast of Washington, anywhere along British Columbia, Vancouver Island. You have the friend that says, I've got some extra Dungeness crab. You want it? <laughs> First thing that comes to mind, there's got to be something else I can do with this Dungeness crab. We're about to give you an idea, all right? Welcome back. KCTS 9 cooks dinner. Dungeness crab fun right now. And you won't believe what we're about to do with it, okay? George Tanson from Covington is here with us with a recipe of macaroni and cougar, uh, cougar gold cheese with crab. Cool. Before we even go on this, some are going cougar gold. Ah, yes, cougar gold cheese here is basically from uh, Washington State University, mm -hmm. and they make their own cheese there, and it's a really a sharp cheddar cheese. It's a white cheese, so it has no coloring or flavor in it, and it's got a distinct flavor. It almost crumbly, almost like blue cheese a little bit. Uh, when you open it up. So what came and first, really the, the cougar gold cheese, and you needed something to go with the I crab had the cougar gold cheese, and my wife does sewing, so she did a lot of sewing for a friend. Okay. And the friend does a lot of crabbing, so she brought over, we had a, like six crabs, so we had to find something good to do with it. And my okay. Family well, we cook away, Joe. Okay, the first thing we need to do is start a roux. Okay. So we put some butter, some butter in, in it and get that started, and get the butter melted real well. Okay. Okay. I know mac and cheese and crab. I know. Mac and cheese I was thinking the same thing here, but where do you see this? Yep. Okay. What okay. happens after the butter is all melted? The butter you put in is six uh, tablespoons of flour. Okay. And you mix those in and, and make a nice roux. Any particular kind of flour you like to use for this, George? Uh, no, I just use regular uh, ordinary heart? flour. Mm -hmm. And once you Keep whisking that until it's nice and smooth, mm -hmm. and then once it's smooth and melted and so real well, bubbly and nice. uh, then you start adding the milk, and I usually add a little bit of the milk at a time and whisk it in until it's nice and smooth. Okay, let that get all smoothed out. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. I think making roux is fun, just because <laughs> it's like a little magic going on in here. It is. Ready for milk? Yes, ready for milk. Looks good. And then you, again, you put the milk in, whisk it until it's smooth, and then you cook it for four to five minutes until it wow. starts to thicken up. Okay. And it's important at this point to bring it to a boil. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, that starch won't thicken your sauce. Ah. So we are heating yes. it up. Okay. Yes, we definitely heat it up. And we actually started with heated milk. Usually, I don't. But okay, don't watch. Watch, this is fun. Wait till you see what happens in here. Okay. Mm -hmm. You'll be wanting to go home and make this, Mark. I, I'm impressed already, Carol. <laughs> okay. okay. So while we're waiting what? on this, tell me what's going to happen next. Okay, what we do next is we put in uh, some seasoning. We have a little Old Bay seasoning, some white pepper. I usually use white pepper because you don't like all the black specks in. Oh, I like that. I don't like the black specks in my white sauce. And there. a little bit of salt. And that goes in with some garlic. And I'll get the garlic ready to squish in there. And guess what? Your sauce is thick. See there? Oh, great. It's wow. bubbling. Okay. Check and we it add out. The white pepper, some salt. That's sticking up really fast. And the Old Bay. Old Bay. Ooh, it's crab. Old Bay is great. And then we put a little garlic in. I just like that. Little garlic, yum. Okay. And then as that thickens up, we start putting the cheese in. This is the cool gold cheese. Can you smell this, Mark? Yeah, I can. It smells good, doesn't it? Yeah. Right here. Cougar gold good. cheese is now coming in. Again, we're doing this macaroni and cougar gold cheese. And we'll explain what the crab part is in a bit. Put him right there for now. Okay. This is a cold the, now you start folding in the gold the cougar gold cheese. Okay. And again, and I can see wood. the family working on this one, George, because get you get the crab, you have to uh, oh, shell yes. the crab so kids have at it. Get a, okay. and my wife spent a lot of time last evening uh, shelling, shelling the, the crab. crab. Yeah. And usually you get about 40% of the, or 25% mm -hmm. of the crab is crab meat. Well, she's Scottish, so she really gets make sure she gets all the meat out of it. <laughs> so would this be one crab then? For this no, this, this is making? almost two crabs. Almost right two crabs. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to show something real quick, too, for those around salt water. 
take a look at that. There we are. It's a male crab, okay? If it was a female, it'd be a round circle on the bottom. And the law is, if you're going to go out and do your own crab pods, keep the males, let the females go. Okay? That's why so we have such a... So they can make more crabs. Yeah, that's, that's right. why we have such a healthy crab fishery around. And what better, catch your own crab than take and this recipe of George? For the topping, I use Parmesan cheese and panko breadcrumbs. I like mm, the panko breadcrumbs yeah. a lot better than regular breadcrumbs. They're a little bit... Uh, crunchy and they, I think they make a lot better topping on something like this than regular breadcrumbs. A little crunch to match. Okay. okay, then once that's done then we roll in the pasta. What happens next? Ready for pasta? Ready for pasta. Okay, so we have some hot cooked pasta right here. It's been drained. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Your world is just expanded. <laughs> you got that. Just mix this up. Do, 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 do. It's a good thing you have a really big pot here. Yeah, but so usually I make it in a different pot. Sometimes I'll mix it up in the in the dish here. Uh -huh. But I figured for here it'll be easier to to do it that way. And sometimes I pull it out with a spider and then put a little bit of the macaroni in at a time, and it's easier to stir around that way rather oh, than dump idea. it all in at once. You dump it all in at once, and it's good idea. All the macaroni's on top, and all of the sauces on the bottom. So you really got to stir it. I'm thinking of all these college students over at WSU thinking, we need an idea. Boy, this would be perfect. <laughs> yes, and even if you look on the top of the cool gold cheese, it actually has the name of the person who made it. Really? Oh, my goodness. Yes. That's very cool. I have to okay, ask, are you so a graduate? No. Okay. Not from there. Okay. Once we get all this mixed together. Once it's mixed together real well, then you put it in your baking dish. All righty. Are we ready? Yes. Ready for that? I'm going to give you this. Okay. Here we go. You got it. Oh, oh, hold on. My finger is stuck. Okay. Not a problem. That's hot. It is hot. And I, we use there. Monterey Jack cheese as well as the Cougar Gold cheese. Mm -hmm. And it's, it has a mild flavor, but if you wanted something spicy, you'd probably use pepper jack cheese instead of the, the regular Monterey Jack cheese. Ooh, that'd be good too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love peppers and cheese. So you kind of smooth this okay. out. And this is going to feed a crowd or two very hungry people. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, I mix <laughs> the Parmesan cheese and the breadcrumbs, and then you just kind of okay. put it all over the top mm. of this. It's been a lot of cheese, but it, I it guess is a lot of cheese. Gonna work. Cheese is one of those favorites. That's why we see it time and time again on the show because everyone loves cheese. Oh yeah, my grandkids love this cheese, and uh, they were all here when the first time I made this. And like I said, I, I looked on the internet to find some nice crab recipes, mm -hmm. fat mac and cheese, and I couldn't find anything that really had it. And I had some of the gold. The cooler gold cheese, and I decided mm -hmm. oh, that would, that's a really this good cheese beautiful. or something like that. So now this goes to the oven. It goes to the oven for 25 minutes sometimes. It depends on the oven because okay. you want it to be golden brown on the top. And we're going to pretend like this will go to the oven because oh. we have magical television. What a way to introduce younger taste lovers. Kids yep. that say, I don't like crab. I, I'm looking at the crab. I, uh -huh. Give them a bite of this. Don't tell them, right? Yep. They fall in love with it, and then maybe a few years you tell them there's crab in that there's crab in cheese. Exactly. <laughs> And Here this comes. is what it looks like when it's done. Wow. Mm -hmm. Very nice, it's George. Golden. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Are you ready? ready? You ready to taste this? Can't decide. Do I want to do the fork this time or the spoon? <laughs> <laughs> I want to get, get a, a big small bite. Sorry, I'm ready. Oh, I'm I like ready. your spoon, Carol. <laughs> there you go. Here Tells you the experience of this. <laughs> ooh, listen to that. It's all crispy on top. Wow, yeah. I like Yeah. There we there are. So again, some macaroni ooh, ooh, and cougar ooh. gold cheese with crab, everybody. All right, you see what the fork will do. I'm going to go for the crab with a spoon here. I know crab and macaroni and cheese. George, this mm. is great. This is just mm. really mm. Yeah. Thank you. It's, this, you have achieved yum. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. You got it. Another one for Dungeness Crab right there, you guys. And again, um, let's introduce the family, the younger ones maybe that don't like the crab. This is a way to just kind of sneak it on their plate and... Have at it and very much enjoy it indeed. George Tanson from Covington. What a great discovery with this macaroni and cougar gold and crab. Again, you're going to find it in the cookbook, so make sure you give us a call. Support these programs. Again, the 34th time we're able to, to do these live on TV, 
with these great viewers like yourself able to come in and share such a wonderful recipe. All right, give us a call at 1-800-443-1999. George, thank you. Uh, I'm going to have another little bite here, okay? So you're not okay. going to go away anytime quick. <laughs>